Here we go. Hi everyone, welcome to my yarn room. I'm Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today's video is gonna be a very special video, special to me, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. Um, probably this will be one of the most special videos to myself that I ever make, or for myself that I ever make, um, because I'm gonna share with you some things that are yarn related, uh, crochet related, but very personal to me. Um, my great grandmother was a cro crocheter. My grandmother was a sewer. My mother dabbled in a little of both. Um, I don't know. I think she went through streaks. Sometimes she preferred sewing. Sometimes she preferred uh, crochet. She didn't crochet a great deal. She um, she liked something called Swedish weaving, which was blankets, uh, and you weave the yarn through monk cloth. Um, I don't know if there's YouTube videos on it. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it. Um, and I I do have a blanket somewhere. I think that she made me of that, but gosh, I can't think of where it is right now. Um, so maybe one day I'll show it to you when I when I find. I know I have one. Uh, anyway. When my mom passed away, she died uh, uh, about two and a half years ago from uh, basically leukemia. Uh, and like a year later, I was going through some of her things with my stepfather and found a yarn stash of hers. She was not one that really collected <laughs> like this. Uh, and most of her stash was really stuff that was given to her from a friend that had passed away. Uh, she would buy yarn for a specific project, so she had some leftover stash of, you know, little balls, but she was never one that, um, with anything, she was never one that bought in advance of what she needed. Um, she didn't with fabric either. Uh, but anyway, I was at her house, and <laughs> I... Uh, I was at her house before Easter and I found a chair that was in my grandmother's house and someone, my, my mom and stepfather had purchased a house with my brother, a duplex and his family. So this was in the basement and I know that it was my grandmother's chair at her house and they had, someone had used it um, to paint on and I was very disappointed, but I'm sure, see what they did. And it's just an old, but it's old. This was in my grandmother's house. I'm sure this chair is, well, definitely over 50 years old. And I always liked it because it was a cute little chair. And when I saw that they had painted on it, I was upset. And um, because like his family, his wife and kids wouldn't know that that was in my grandmother's house. They had never been there. Uh, or that it would have been special like to my mother but it was and therefore it was special to me so i stole it <laughs> um with my stepfather's permission <laughs> and i brought it home and i'm like i'm going to do something with that well i can't decide whether i want to paint repaint it because it's uh maybe now part of the history not to have it painted but maybe when the weather's better i'll change my mind but in the meantime so i crocheted this little just um, greeny square to put over the black paint because that's upsetting to me. And I said, what am I going to do with that? Well, um, I have, and an, as I've said before, I collect elephants. So I have from my, gram from my mother, that was also my grandmother's house, but it was my mother's, an old rocker. Now this chair is... My mom would be 75. She got it as a toddler um, and it was used. So it's probably over 75 years old. And I keep an elephant that I sit in it and this elephant's name is Slap. When my mom was sick, we uh, I bought a set of twin elephants. My mom got one to cuddle and think of me when she's not feeling well and I have the twin. Um, my mom named hers Happy because it makes her happy. So I named mine Slap because that made my mom laugh. So this is Slap. 
And Happy is resting peacefully on Mom's side of the bed, dressed in a dress that my grandmother, my mother's mother, made. Um, like I said, my grandmother was a sewer. And she sewed all of my... So anybody that you know that sews would probably find this interesting. She made all of my mom's clothes up until she was in high school, including doll clothes, including coats. Uh, and she made all of her own clothes. She made this dress um, for my mother when my mother was a baby. I wore this dress. I put it on my, uh, my daughter one time. Um, it's very, as you can see, very old. But my grandmother sewed on an old sewing machine that had foot pedals, no reverse, no fancy stitches. So everything is uh, hand sewn or sewed on that old sewing machine. And she made this dress that I just found today at my stepfather's house. I found these because um, I was looking for something else. As I said, my great-grandmother crocheted. So Slap is wearing a christening gown that my great-grandmother made for one of my mother's brothers. And she crocheted the hat. And the little trim, let's see if we can pull it out here. The trim same stitch, also crocheted by my great-grandmother. Now, the uncle that wore this would either, it, the one uncle is 82-ish, or his brother that would be older, um, maybe more like 85 or 86. So this is almost 100 years old and crocheted by my great-grandmother. This, I'm going to show you this picture. This is my mother when she was eight months old. Now, let's see. Can you see? She was adorable. I agree. Um, see this dress? My great-grandmother made this for her when she was eight months old. I know she was eight months old because it says on the back of the picture. I found this dress. Same dress. I know in the picture it's white. Um, it was never a white dress. <laughs> I have another picture of my mother in it, and the dress is pink. <laughs> but it was never a white dress. And this is the dress. Like, I want to get it close enough for you to see all the crochet beauty of this dress. The ribbons have been changed, but there's an underskirt underneath that is... Um, I don't know what kind of material, satiny, silky, but it's getting holes in it just from age. Um, but the crochet is perfect. She's got uh, like a little diamond pattern up here. So maybe like a little pico or something stitch up here. Little puffy sleeves. Um, so this dress would be 75 years old. And he's this elephant is not happy. Happy is still resting peacefully on my mom's side of the bed until my stepfather is ready to release her back to me. But this elephant will sit here in grandma's, grandma's chair wearing my mother's dress until maybe forever and in my happy place in my yarn room. Um, so I also wanted to show you this is something else that my great-grandmother made. And it's supposed to peak up. And there was like a, my mom had a term for it. But these little pieces stand up like this when they're properly starched. Um, so that the little flowery edge, it can be seen. But that's the little flowery edge. And then this is the doily. I have a couple of these um, also that the, and I keep this one in my yarn room, um, usually over here by this plant, but I took it up down to show you that this is a crochet that my great, oh, that might be the back side, I don't know, that my great, that my, yeah, should be my great grandmother made. And um, I don't think there's a stitch out of place. It's so pretty. So I wanted to share that with you. And the last thing that my mother ever crocheted for me. 
uh, and I got this from her house today too. Uh, she, I had seen it there before and I was afraid to really ask my stepfather to have it back because he gets real sentimental about letting go of some of her stuff, her personal stuff. But she had made this blanket for me and it was, it, some of the stitching was coming undone. And she was really aggravated about it because she said, I tried a new, they showed me it. She, she would go, um, she was a snowbird from Ohio to Florida every winter and they had a craft class. And so some of the crochet women showed her a new way, a different way to tie off her ends. And she said, I knew it wasn't gonna work. And <laughs> I did it anyway. And anyway, so I looked I gave it back to her and I asked her to fix it. This was, you know, before I ever started crocheting. And, you know, I said, Mom, can you fix this? It's coming undone and I'm afraid of it coming apart. And she said she would fix it. And she got sick and passed away. And um, she never got around to fixing it, I didn't think. But when I pulled it out of the closet, because I had seen it in there and I was afraid, like I said, to ask for it. But today... I had up my guts and I'm like, I want my blanket back. I want my mom, you know, she made this for me. And I'm going to tell you that I searched for the bad spots and I can't find them. So I think she might have fixed them and never told me or forgot about it because of her illness. But I can't find the bad spots. I was going to fix it. I, um, excuse me just a minute. When I asked my stepfather for it back, I said, you know, I know she didn't get around to fixing it, but I think on YouTube they have videos and somebody could teach me how to fix it. And I want to fix it and display it. So him and I looked for the bad spots <laughs> and we couldn't find it. So I think maybe mom fixed it and... I don't know why she wouldn't have told me about it, but she either fixed it alive or she came back as an angel and did it in my sleep one day or something. But this is the blanket that my mom made me. One of the last things that uh, she ever finished. So as you can imagine, it's very special to me. And I'm very glad to have it back. And I will proudly display it here in my yard room of things that make me happy. And these are tears of happy. So anyway, I just wanted to share some family crochet history. Some very old, pretty crocheted things. I don't know that I would ever um, be as good or talented as my great-grandmother with her doilies and dresses um, I never knew or appreciated the time and work and skill because this is teeny tiny thread and the hook size she must have used on this I can't even tell you um, but I so had to have so glad to have these things in my home and in my happy place Thanks so much for joining me, us. I need to name this elephant. It doesn't have a name. So if you can think of one. I don't want to call her great grandma because she's not that old. But she is wearing great grandma's dress. So again, thanks for joining. Please subscribe. See you next time.